Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Hey, we have a new habitat. We have a new Black Widow. She is anchored down in this habitat. And look at this. Very creepy. This is a Southern Black Widow. This is different than the Western Black Widows I usually have on my channel. You'll notice in addition to the red hourglass on her abdomen, on her stomach, not her back, she's got a little red mark on her butt. Is that, is, I don't know, is that a technical term? Spider butt? Oh. So this Black Widow minifig, I believe, action fig, I believe it was $11.99 on Amazon. I anchored it down with an adhesive caulk. You see the, the red dot on the back of the spider? Not a red back spider, but just got that. It's a southern Black Widow. There's western Black Widows. There's southern Black Widows. Might even be a northern Black Widow. They're all in the same family. Man, see how creepy this spider is. Wow, just, that, that cricket's got real long antenna, antennas, and it was poking at the spider, and the spider started poking at that. Wow. Yeah, we have plenty of crickets in there for the spider. We have cricket food. Oh, man. This is the first southern black widow we've had. You see the two different distinctive red marks, the red hourglass on the underside, and then that little red dot there on the back. Very creepy spider. Yeah, we got a lot of creepy spiders around here, and this is... Oh, I guess I should put one of these southern black widows in with a western black widow, and then we can see who's the king of the black widow. Now, right there at the front of the of the body, some kind of white mark? Looks like it's put on there with a magic marker or something. Or an ink, or a paint ink pen. A paint pen. Man, spider moves quick. At first, I thought it was reflection from the lights, but it almost looks like a... Uh, raccoon mask or something, a little white right there at the front of its body. I do know that other Black Widows here in the U.S., not the Western Black Widow, and I think it is Southern Black Widow, will have different color markings on the body. Sometimes red, sometimes white, like blotches. Maybe yellow. I don't know, man. There's Black Widow's, uh, I don't know, is that a crossbow, weird weapon-y thing? Yeah. <laughs> it's not doing much good against a giant spider! Wow. I'm still working out the optics of these new glass containers. Uh, spider's doing a spider thing. Remember the coffee bean containers and they have wood lids. And then I drill breathing holes in the lids that the spiders can't get out. But the lids don't anchor unless I put scotch tape on them some, or something. They do not anchor. They just kind of slide in there with a little rubber gasket. So if they get knocked over on the floor, they will pop open. And there will be black widows and huntsmen and all kind of creepy things all around the plate. You know, I mean, more so than normal. Wow. That is just bizarre, the markings there. And this isn't a very ornate one either. But she's adapting very well. I'm surprised she didn't go in for lunch. You know, she's, she looks huge. So she's eaten recently. Um, or is ready to lay an egg sack. Ooh. Yeah, it's all we need now is more spider babies. All right, what do you think? You know anything about Southern Black Widows? You know anything about Black Widows? Australian Redbacks? Leave your comments in the comment section. And always, ooh, spiders are creepy. Thanks for watching. Beanmeister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.